welcome back to Fusion Friday. Today I want to take a look at the hole command, the ability to cut holes in our wood, but also the additional ability to make screw threads. Let's get straight into it. You're going to find the hole command up here on your create menu. You can also use the shortcut H and normally by default is this little box here with a hole drilled into it that you can see up here in the menu. The hole command creates a hole based on user specified values and selections. Select a face to place the hole, then select edit to position the hole on the face. Or select sketch points to place multiple holes. Specify the hole type, the tap type and the size values. Really simple command to use but really super powerful. So let's as always, let's create ourselves a piece of wood. We'll go into sketch, we'll select any old plane and then we'll just quickly create a plank of wood and we'll have a plank of wood. Oh, I don't know, um, let's call this plank of wood um, 100 wide and um, that and then let's call this one 500 long to give us something to play with. I'm going to finish that sketch and then let's just extrude our piece of wood and let's bring this up by 40 millimeters or so. Cool. So we've now got a plank of wood here. Now let's choose the hole command and have a look at it. So either press H on your keyboard, click the icon at the top or select hole from the menu. It takes you to the same place. So here's your hole menu. You can do a single hole or you can do multiple holes. You select the face that you want the hole on, and then you say what type of hole you want. First thing is how long do you want it, and you can set a distance, set distance. You can set a two point to another object, or you can cut all the way through your object. Choice is yours. The hole type, you've got three choices. You've got a simple hole, which is just a hole directly through there. You've got a counter bore or a countersink hole that you can set. The hole tap type, Yes, you can put threads on this and make screws for yourselves. Simple hole has got no threads at all. Clearance hole has a hole with no threads or a small clearance piece at the bottom. You can have a tapped hole with a thread or you can have a tapered tapped thread. Very, very useful for pipe type fittings. And then the drill you're going to use, is it a flat bottom drill or is it an angled drill? So let's use this to make a very, very simple hole first of all and then we'll get a bit more complicated. So placement is going to be a single hole. My face is going to be this top face here. And you can see that that straight away just puts a default hole in the middle of my stock. Now if you're doing a single hole, you're going to be asked for a reference point. The reference point is the distance from the center point of your hole to a reference. Front edge, back edge, a side edge, another object. So let's select a reference point and say, I want a reference point from this left hand side here and now I can specify a distance well let's specify that distance to be something like 20 millimeters and you can see now it's moved the center of my hole 20 millimeters from that edge select a second reference one and let's come from this front face and let's select that front face to be 20 millimeters as well so the center of my hole is now in that piece of stock and you can see that could be useful in its own right if you want to start to create some arcs in your stock, for example. It's just a different way of doing it in 3D. So holes can also give you those curved cutouts. It's not just for you know, holes in the way you would traditionally think about that. The next thing you want to look at are your shape settings. What distance do you want it to be or how far do you want it to go, etc. So let's use a distance. And this is where you set the distance. This gives you a nice picture here of the hole that you're creating. So I'm going to say, well, actually, in my 40 millimeter stock, I want that to come down by 40 millimeters. And straight away, you can now start to see that that's cutting all the way through that stock. Let's make that half the stock, 20 millimeters. You can now see it's cutting halfway through that stock. The next thing it's saying to is, what type of hole do I want? Well, a simple hole is just a hole, as you can see. A counter bore, no surprise, puts a counter bore around the top and a counter sink gives a counter sink around the top. And you'll notice your grey diagram here changes depending on what you want. Have a look at this. Simple hole diagram, counter bore hole diagram, tapered hole diagram. And then you just tell it on this diagram here what you want. Well we've already said I want you to be 20 millimeters deep. 
Actually, I'm going to go for a simple drill point. I don't want that point on it whatsoever. So you're going to be 20 millimeters deep, and I want you to be 15 millimeters diameter. And look at that. I now have, okay, a hole, when it catches up, a hole drilled in my stock. And that's it. That's what the hole tool does for you in its simplest way. Let's come back into the hole tool. Let's stick with our single placement and let's stick with our single face. Now let's create, now look at this first of all, it's remembered the settings from last time. So it knows I want it, I was using simple holes. It knows it was a flat drill point. It knows it was 20 meters deep and it was 15 millimeters wide. So it remembers that, which is quite, quite useful. Now you can grab that little blue circle in the middle and you can move that round if you so wish. You can also grab these handles here and I can make that larger or smaller and hiding inside my stock I can make it deeper by doing the handles. And if you're manipulating the hole directly this menu obviously updates. I don't tend to use that very often because I want to set a hole. So let's let the reference point. I want to go from the centre to that line there and let's just make that to what 20 millimeters again I think. Perfect. Now select the second reference point and let's go to this back line here and make that 20. So it's pretty much in the same place as this one. Now let's look at some of these. Now let's create a different hole type. Let's go for a tapered hole this time. And now you can see it's asking me for the degrees of the taper and the width of the taper. So if I know my hole here is 20 millimeters, then a 22 millimeter top would give me quite a nice taper here. And I can change the degrees if I wanted to make that 45, you can see the diagram here, it's changed that to a 45 degree taper. So the choice is obviously yours. Make this 25, you can see it's going to give me a bigger hole at the top and therefore a wider taper and that's probably okay for some sort of screw clearance I guess. And 20 millimeters across the bottom is fine. Let's look at a tapped thread. Now if I click the tap thread, you see I get another menu down here and this is where the tool starts to get really 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 powerful. The thread type is what you'd expect it to be, isometric profile. I work in millimeters, I work in the metric system so it tends to default to this. But you have the choice on this pull down menu, Acme threads, ANSI threads, BSP threads, DIN threads, GB metric etc. So I'll stick with isometric and straight away it's saying you know what's your designation, you're working on a 20 millimeter hole so it's saying I guess you want a a 20 millimeter thread, an M20 thread, which I probably would. What's your designation? 2.5, 2, 1.5. So what clearance do you want on that? Well, let's go for a, a 0.5, and you can see that's going to give me a very, very fine thread. So let's go to a 2.5, you can see it's going to give me a coarse thread. So I can just specify whatever thread I'm using for whatever sort of kind of screw or tap I want to put inside it. The class is pre preset as well, 6H in our case, and the direction a right hand thread. Now this model down here is pretty important to you. This is just a diagrammatic representation of a thread. If I model it, it'll actually turn it into a thread inside the stock. Do you see that? That's a drawing. That's actually modeled hard inside our piece. So that's actually now cut a M20 thread into our hole. And if I wanted that to go all the way through, I can simply change the depth of that to 40. And you can see it's now going to give me that threaded hole all the way through the stock off. You can just see that there. Okay, so that's the hole type. So we'll leave that there. I've now got a tapered 20 millimeter hole with a medium coarse thread in my material. Quite useful, I think. So coming back into the command, I think by now the rest of it is pretty obvious really. You're selecting the face, you're selecting the distance, you're selecting the hole type, the thread type you want, the drill point you want and that will create this rather nice hole for you. Now so far we've just looked at creating single holes but there's this thing here called multiple holes. Now if you click on that it's going to say what are your sketch points. Now we've not covered sketch points but we have covered sketches and sketch points are really really simple. Let's just close that out if I come back into my sketch tool and I click on this face, obviously I can now draw on the face. Come onto your create menu and pull down the list. Down here you've got this little thing called 
point. That is a sketch point. It creates a sketch point. And all it does is put a dot somewhere on your stop. So there, for example, or there, for example, or there, for example, or there, for example. So you can now just put some reference dots on your stop and pressing escape takes you out of that tool. And like anything, you can specify where these go. So if you were to use your sketch dimensions from that edge to there, I'm going to make you 25 millimeters, which is great. From this edge here, I'm going to make you 80 millimeters, which is great. That hole to that hole, I'm going to make, if I can get it to snap in, I'm going to make 25 millimeters, so that's equally spaced. And from that edge, I'm going to make you 80 millimeters as well. Then that one from there, we can make 50. And then that one from there, I can make 50. And then these two, I hear I can make 25. And that one to the top, I can make 25. So you can start to get to some reasonably interesting layouts about where you want your holes to be. And when you finish your sketches, you can see you've got the dots there. So coming back into the hole tool, I can now say I want to make multiple holes. Now I can select my sketch points. I want that hole, I want that hole, I want that hole, and I want that hole. And I want these to be, oh, what should we say here? Um, not 20 millimeters, I want these to be an M6, so we'll go to six millimeters. This is updated that, I therefore don't want my 25 millimeter chamfer on the top. I want a, a um, six millimeter chamfer. No, I don't. I want an eight millimeter chamfer on top at 90 degrees. And I might want to have that as the M6 thread right handed model. So now what I've got is four holes drilled in there with a thread inside. So that's it. That's what the hole tool does for you. No surprises, it drills holes in your stock. You can specify the size, the dimensions, the thread, the counterbore, etc. in the way we've just seen there. Super simple to use, super powerful, super quick. Hope you found that useful. See you soon.